Next is question number 10.3. It says write the structures for the following compounds. So here you are going to do the other way around where a name of the compound is given and you're going to draw the structure. So the first one is 2 chloro 3 methyl pentane. So whenever you get a compound like this and you want to write draw the structure for it, first thing observe what is the parent hydrocarbon. Parent hydrocarbon is a 5 member chain. So I am drawing 5 carbons. And starting from either left or right, I am going to put on second position Cl and third position methyl. Now the remaining is for you to fill in the hydrogens and ensure that each carbon in the chain has got 4 bonds around itself. So you will have already some bonds right now. The remaining bonds are going to be filled up by hydrogen. So I have CH3 here, H over here, H. I have one H here, one H here and a CH3 here. So this is a structure for this particular compound. Now the second one is para bromo chloro benzene. So here the main structure is going to be benzene ring which is a parent hydrocarbon and it says chlorobenzene so it's Cl on one position. Para to this I have bromo. So I have Br over here. It's a very simple structure. Then I have one chloro for ethyl cyclohexane. Again another simple one. Parent hydrocarbon is the last one here, cyclohexane. Cyclohexane is just a six membered ring with no bonds inside. It says at first position a Cl. Fourth position I should have an ethyl group. So one, two, three, four. Fourth position I should have an ethyl group. That's all. Right? Now, fourth one is going to be two, two chloro phenyl. Then one iodo octane. So this is the name of the compound. Parent hydrocarbon is octane. So let's draw the structure. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have 8 carbons here. Octane is an 8 carbon chain. At position number 2. So I'm going to consider this position number 2. I'm going to have a phenyl ring. So of the branching, look at what is a parent chain there. So I'm going to have a phenyl ring there at position number 2. Like this. And of that phenyl ring, position number 2 is going to be chloro. So this is the position number 2 which is chloro. Now what you are going to do is just fill in the hydrogens for the remaining. So I have CH. For this I am going to have 1 hydrogen. For this I have 2 hydrogens. This is 2. This is 2. This is 2. This is also 2. And this is 3. So here I have got the entire uh, compound for that particular name. Alright, now next one is the fifth one. Fifth one is a very simple one. It says 2-bromobutane. It's a very simple one. So here I have a 4-carbon chain. And at second position I have a Br. Then the remaining is to just put the hydrogens in it. CH2 and CH3. Alright, next one is the sixth one. It says 4 tertiary butyl 3 iodo heptane so here heptane is a 7 member chain so I am going to draw 7 carbons so this is my 7 carbon position number 3 it says iodo and position number 4 it says a tertiary butyl so draw a tertiary butyl group at 4th position tertiary butyl is a 4 carbon chain with a tertiary carbon in it. Now the remaining is just to put the hydrogen count. So this is going to be the structure for this compound. Now next one is seventh one. Now seventh one is one bromo 
4 secondary butyl 2 methyl benzene so here the parent hydrocarbon is a benzene ring so let's draw a benzene ring now at first position I have a BR so let's put randomly anywhere BR that's going to be the first position fourth position I'm going to have a secondary butyl secondary butyl meaning on the fourth position I'm going to have a secondary carbon for the butyl group so this is a secondary carbon and this is going to be the fourth group here at position number two I have a methyl group this is carbon number two for a benzene so it's going to be methyl all right and then the last one is question number eight which is one comma four dibromo but 2 in very simple compound again but 2 in so it's a butane chain with at carbon number 2 I have an in so carbon number 2 I put a double bond at position number 1 I have a br position number 4 I have a br now let's put the four hydrogens ch2 here it requires only one hydrogen here also one hydrogen this is two hydrogen this is the structure for this. So whenever you want to draw the structure for a given IUPAC naming, find out what is the parent hydrocarbon, fill in the functional groups based on positions given, then identify how many hydrogens are required because each carbon requires four bonds around itself and fill up the hydrogens. This will make your drawing structures from a given IUPAC naming much more easier.